I hope you have enjoyed first practice projects and got the needle felting bug. In this lesson, we are going to learn some fundamental sculpting skills. We will be making this hat here. You can later use it for one of your felted creatures. We will continue using just two needles, 36 gauge triangle and 38 gauge star. You will need some wool padding, mainly one color. You can add more colors for decoration. Get your felting mat ready and let's get started. Take a long sliver of your bedding. Make sure to just pull it apart with hands. Do not cut the wool with scissors, as it won't felt well. Roll the sliver into a cone-like shape. You really need to roll just one end of it tighter for that. Start needle felting the shape. You can start from the sharp end of the cone and move to the thicker part. The main thing that we want to learn in this lesson is how to sculpt with wool. Here you can see how I am forming the shape of the hat. It's important to use your hands to form the wool as well. As in sculpting, you try to form the shape that you'd like to get and then try to make it denser with needles. You want to make the core of your item as dense as possible. Try to move your needle as deep as possible, do not felt the surface. Felting the surface will make it harder to add more wool to your shape. Besides, if the surface is dense and firm, and your core stays soft, your item could be easily deformed. This is one of the common errors that people make, that I was initially struggling with as well. So, to sum up, concentrate on the core at the initial stages. Remember that it's much easier to add material to the shape than subtract. Therefore, to get a dense shape, you have to start with a smaller shape and then add wool to it as you go. When adding more wool, do not stretch or tighten it. Just apply it as it is. And then again start to push all fibers deep into the core. If you want to bend your hat, begin doing that when the wool is not very dense yet.
bend the shape and felt it while holding it first. If you need to emphasize a crease, hold the head firmly using both your hands and the mat and poke the crease itself. You can even squeeze the head to create a deeper crease. Remember not to fold in one spot. Try to go back and forth and cover the areas that you are felting evenly. Felting in one spot will produce a dip. Adding wool is important if you want to make your item firm. Here you can see that I add a lot more wool to make the head dance. It's like stuffing a toy, the more you add, the heavier and firmer it becomes. I will speed up the video a bit here, as it is mostly adding more wool. Here we get to the edge of the hat. When you need to felt this part, you need to felt from both inside and outside, but so that your needle doesn't come out from the other side. See how I round the edges and felt in the direction of the center of the hat. This way I am making the fibers denser on the inside. Remember to always take the needle out at the same angle that you have inserted it. Do not move the needle sideways while it's inside. Do not concentrate on just one part. Try to go over the whole head periodically with your needle. But when you start a distinct area, such as doing the edges, do the full circle and go over and over the area so you know you have felted it evenly. When working, you need to turn the head all the time on the mat. It's easier and faster when you work with both hands. You adjust the object with one hand and needle felt with another. If you only move the hand that holds the needle and use the other hand to just hold the object statically in one place, it will be both slower and more tiring. Eventually you get to a place when you need to felt edges or thinner details. Be very careful when felting those or try to use finger protectors, as you can easily prick your fingers. When you first practice such small details, try to do it very slowly. Remember about inserting and taking out the needle under the same angle. Our main shape is done. I switched to 38 star needle to polish the surface, to make it smoother. With 38 star needles, you won't have to go very deep. Now you are working at the surface level. Here is a nice trick that you can use to get a real smooth surface. Take a small piece of wool and tear it fibers even more.
then just apply it on top of your surface without introducing any tension and felt it with your 38 star needle. Although a bit time consuming, with this technique you get really smooth and well felted surface. Use this technique on the whole head to polish it. I must admit that it is perhaps the most time consuming part in needle felting, but is also very rewarding as it completely changes the look and quality of your creations. Once you are done with polishing the surface, you can add some decoration. For this hat, I just added a few polka dots in green and yellow. You pretty much use the same technique. You tear your wool into small fibers and then felt it on top of your surface using 38 star needles. Controlling the edges is really easy with the tip of your needle. Do it slowly and be careful not to bend or break the needle. There are a great many things you can use for hat decoration, like pom-poms, beads, bells, buttons, etc. As this is a practice lesson, I decided we will add simple woolen ball at the tip of the hat. This way we can learn how to attach one piece to another. You should already know how to make ball shapes from the first practice lesson. Now we are going to make a similar ball shape, but we need to leave one side of it unfelted to attach it to the hat. See how I felt the ball? And leave a little strain of wool on the side. When your ball is firm enough, let's attach it to the hat. Start felting, trying to move the loose fibers on the ball into the head shape. Keep felting until the ball is firmly attached to the head. As you can see, the yellow is still showing, as the tip is very thin. So I add more brown wool to cover the yellow part. It will also strengthen the bond. That's it, congratulations! Your hat is done! I will see you in the next lesson.